my channel to grow so fine and I just wanted to give you guys a little video because um, it, it happened to me the other day I was at work and someone came up to me and they said oh my gosh I love your hair I was like okay thank you she was like oh I wanted to do my locks I really want to start but you know um, I feel like I'm gonna be too limited I feel like every week I want to switch my hair up and with locks I can't do that I'm just like sis you actually can so I'm just like just because you have individual is like braids um you can still There's actually a lot of versatility with locks and um I even decided to show her my video of my different hairstyles she was like oh that's really cute told her to scribe got that down under my belt but it was a matter of just like making her understand that there's a lot of versatility with having locks it's not just having locks and it's just like okay that's it you can do a lot more with it and so that just sparked up the idea of this video of um, why people feel like they're afraid of starting their lock journey because of these simple reasons of the main one i come across when i meet people is that they, they get um really bored with hairstyles but um in addition to being able to have locks you can do ponytails um buns you can do head wraps um in the beginning of my journey as you can see in my other videos where i when i um documented my hair journey for my first two years i'll link that at the cards here um i wore wigs for my first few months so my hair wasn't as long and it wasn't as thick as it is now like right now i wouldn't be able to wear a wig over my hair i mean i've seen people with longer hair than me thicker hair than me manage to braid this down and get it under a cap to wear a wig so i think it's possible but um i personally i feel like it would be too much for me to wear a wig over my locks but yeah people that's another option for those who of you who want to start your journey and you still want to be able to have that versatility of wearing a wig or having your locks you can still do that that is not like just because you have a just because you have locks doesn't mean you can't do anything else with your hair i mean sewing is definitely can't do that um but definitely wigs you can another thing is actually i've seen people put faux locks or braids even braids over their locks like i've seen i can insert a picture i'm fine when i insert a picture here but people have done it like they've had their locks and they've given their hair a break and they just braided put weaving braiding weaving hair braiding hair over their locks and just braided it up so then you can spend some time like that um maybe about a month or two don't let it go too much because then the hair will actually like your hair is going to want to lock to anything that connects with it so don't leave that in for too long but that's also another option for versatility um the hair color a lot of people dye their hairs i personally haven't dyed my hair yet i don't know if i'm going to do it anytime soon but i just i just like the natural black look on me so it's an option maybe in the future but right now i don't think i want to add any hair color any color to my hair i feel like a reason why many people are, are, are afraid of the commitment i mean you could commit you commit to school you commit to your job but it's your hair like your hair i feel like if you do it for a little while and you don't like it you can always take it off i feel like you can cut your hair you can comb it out you can wear wigs over it you can head wrap you do head wraps there's a lot of versatility so i don't understand why i feel like People don't really like to commit, but they commit to everything else. You commit to that man, you commit to your friends. This is you, like this is your natural state. This is your hair. So committing to your hair is, shouldn't be that big of a deal because you're committing to yourself. Keeping that goal, keeping that focus. I mean, you're gonna get through it. It's, I mean, the beginning might be a little bit rough, but once you go through the years and the months and you see the progress and the growth of your hair, it's just like damn i really did that it's it's very it's really fulfilling um guys i actually want you guys to comment down below comment down below the dates that you started your lock journey and your instagram so that i can see i want to see you guys i want to see how old everyone is so like i am about to be two years and a half so i'm two years and a half years old for my locks these are my babies so i want to see everybody else's um comment your instagram and the date and we can also go back and forth in the comments. We can do DMs. Um, and also, if you didn't start your log journey, when did you first start thinking about it? 
and also comment your instagram so i can also see your hair texture now like are you a wig type of girl are you a box braids type of girl do you like the sewing the weaves like i would like to see all of that because i feel like we're all diverse and we all have different reasons why we want to get into start our lock journey but i understand it is kind of hard because the main reason why i feel like i took my the time that i did when i started which wasn't really that long was simply for me to find the right person to do it so honestly which wasn't also really hard as well because the same person that were able to that was able to give me my relaxers when i was relaxed is the same person i locked my hair when i wanted to be when i wanted to start my locks so um she was a natural hairstylist but because she knew me and how i took care of my hair when i was relaxed she was like, sure, I relax your hair. You're the only, like, I was literally the only person she would put a relaxer in because everybody would always say, oh, relaxers break your hair, relaxers break your hair. But I was living proof that she could put a relaxer in my hair. And she in three months, two months later, I come back and my hair is like down to my tailbone. Like, my hair was really long. I can also, if you guys look back in my other videos, back down in my hair journey, you'll see videos of me with my relaxed hair. Um, so yeah. Also I, want you guys, also, I want you guys to comment, like, what is holding you back? What are you looking for? What um, what will really make you want to lock your hair? What made you lock your hair in the first place? What inspired you to start the journey? What inspired you to want to do it? Like, just let's have this conversation down in the comments back and forth. I would love to hear what you guys think. Um, but in addition to that, I feel like we should embrace the fact that we can lock our hair because I feel like naturally only black people can lock their hair. Like I know like um, Caucasians try to lock their hair but they have to use the like, actual interlocking instant lock um, method. Whereas if they were to just like do a two strand twist or braids and try to leave it in like the way we would do or do coils, it would not work. So I feel like it's just very like, it's a, it's a flex to be able to lock your hair naturally without anything you don't even need gel you don't need all you need is just to put those coils in your hair well you can use gel for that um put them two strand twists in your hair start with braids and you're good just leave your hair alone and just watch your hair flourish and grow like we can um love our hair and it's 100 percent natural state locks are natural states if you left your hair alone and you didn't do anything to it it would naturally mat up, but I feel like the fact that we have our parts and we lock them in, the, the matting is controlled. So, or you can even do freeform if that's what you want to do. You can do freeform if you don't care about the the beauty aspect of it. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. This was just a video that I, just, I, didn't, I didn't know what to say. I just really wanted to vent why I feel like, I feel like, why are people afraid of commitment to locking their hair? Like, just do it. Just like Nike. Just do it okay i think that's it i don't know what to say guys so i guess i'll see you guys in my next video um like this video for more content support this growing channel um comment anything you have any thoughts you have about commitment comment your your log journey comment your dates comment your instagram let's flood these com let's flood my comment section because i love reading you guys responses to everything that i say um and subscribe if you're new um if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for supporting and i guess i'll see you guys in my next video so stay cute and stay fine i love you guys